Hello everyone, welcome to VLSA Academy. This is 29th lecture and today we will continue to learn about timing across clock domains. Alright, let's get started. In previous video, we had seen slow to fast and fast to slow clock domain in which launch and capture were either fast or slow with respect to the other. In this video, we are going to understand the timing analysis with multiple clocks. So here we have taken an example in which there is a launch flop. This is UFF0 is the launch flop. UFF3 is the capture flop. Now we can clearly see that there are two clocks. One is CLKM on the launch flop and CLKP on the capture flop and they both are out of sync. The clock periods of them are not in sync with each other. The clock periods are different. So these are the clocks with non-integer multiple of each other. Now let us do the timing analysis in terms of waveform for these type of cases. To do the analysis, let us take the waveforms here. So these are the waveforms. So CLKQ is actually nothing but a reference clock here and it has a period of 10 nanoseconds, this reference clock. And CLKP is our clock with 5 nanosecond of period and CLKM here is 8 nanosecond of period. Now let us assume that your data is being launched by CLKM and it has to be captured at CLKP and we have launched the data let's say at 0th nanosecond itself. So if we see that what, whatever the data is launched at 0, it will be captured by CLKP in the next available rising edge and that is this edge. So 6, this 5 nanosecond it will be capturing the data whatever is launched at zero. So we will be checking the setup with respect to this like this. So the launch edge is this and we will try to make sure that data reaches before this fifth at five nanosecond. This edge occurs in the CLKP side at UFF three clock pin. But if we are checking the timing of data with respect to the clock period for five nanosecond at CLKP, then for all other cases, we might miss out the critical part. So let's assume that you have launched the data at this edge that is 24 nanosecond. So it is next available rising edge in the CLKP side is this 25 nanosecond. So the clock period in this case becomes more critical than previous one because now you have only the margin of 1 nanosecond here. So this becomes more critical compared to 5 nanoseconds. Hence, we need to find out the most critical path of uh, launch to capture so that we are able to meet the other timing also. If we are trying to analyze the violation at 5 nanosecond in this case, then we are going to miss out such cases like this. In the case of hold analysis, let us assume that data is launched at 0th edge and in the capture side, we will try to make sure that at the 0th edge, same data is not present. So hold will be analyzed at 0th edge only and this will become the hold critical edge. So 0 to 0 only. But in the case of setup, we are going to find out the minimum margin between the launch to capture. Now let us take an another example where the clocks are 90 degree out of phase. So here, this is your launch flop, this is your capture flop and this launch clock CLKM is let's say at zero. So 90 degree phase shift is there in the capture side. So let us now take the waveform and try to analyze the timing for this. Now let us quickly take an example to understand through waveform. So this is the waveform that we are considering. You can see that data being launched at zero and there is certain degree of phase shift with respect to this particular waveform. Had it been 180 degree phase shift, it would be just opposite. Wherever it is on in the capture side, it would be off. Wherever it is off in the capture side, it would be on. That would be 180 degree phase shift. But it is half of that phase shift. Phase shift. So you can see that it is only 25% shifted. So it is like uh, if there is a clock period of 2, so it is shifted by 0 0.5 nanoseconds. So with respect to 2 nanoseconds, there is a only 25% shift. That is actually 25% of 360 degree. So this is, you can say 90 degrees, 25% of 360 degree. That is why there is a 25 degree phase shift in the capture side that is 90 degree phase shift. So this is how you draw the waveform for 90 degree phase shifted clock. And now we know that CKM 90 goes to the capture clock. We have to find out the most restrictive or most critical uh, window. But since it, this is going to be constant, because if you see even the data gets launched at here, it will again be having only 0.5 uh, 
picoseconds of shift here so again here also if data gets launched at 0 it gets captured at 0 0.5 so there will be always the window of 0 0.5 nanoseconds or picoseconds whatever the unit is hence the takeaway is in the case of 90 degree phase shift the setup window will always be 25 percent of the clock period you can say that 25 percent of the clock period will be the critical window for setup check in the case of 90 degree phase shift similarly we can extrapolate and also figure out that in the case of this is the case of 90 degree phase shift but let's say if we are talking about 180 degree phase shift we can clearly see that it would be 50 percent of the clock period in the case of 180 degree phase shift so if the launch and capture are 180 degree out of phase so 50 percent of the clock period becomes your setup critical window if the clocks are 90 degree out of phase then 25 percent of the clock period becomes your critical window for the setup case so when the data is launched at 2 we are checking the setup at 2.5 but let's say we want to check the hold so if the data is launched at 2 we are going to check for one cycle back so previous rising edge we are going to check for hold so your hold becomes like this you will check with respect to this so when your data launches at 2 you are going to check for hold at 0 0.5 edge all right now we have assumed that you have understood these previous two examples that we gave you now here is one example you can see that these are three clocks so you can draw it in your notebooks and uh, pause the video and try to figure out the setup critical window if your data gets launched in the CLKM side so let's say this is your launch clock this is your capture clock and this is your reference clock so now if your data is launched at this edge what is the setup critical window and what is the hold critical window you are going to figure out on your own all right that's all for today please give your answer in the feedback section please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel we will be coming up with further deep dive concepts in the further videos thank you